Oh, bonjour, mes amis. I did not see you there. My name is Lucy, and I am today's mystery reader. Today we will be reading the book Paris Chien. This is a book that they read to me before we took our first trip to Paris. Now I will share it with you, my friends. Hi, my name is Hudson. My mom is a writer, and we've come to live in Paris for a year. I'm pretty excited because she said it's a really cool place for dogs. We live in a fancy neighborhood called the 7th Arrondissement, whatever that means. I can't wait to meet some French dogs. My mom says Parisians take their dogs everywhere, so I'll never get left at home. They take them to work, like this guy who greets people at the shoe store at Boulevard Raspail. They take them to get baguettes and haircuts, even to cafes and restaurants where they often got the best tables. I mean, can you believe this? This is totally true. I saw it myself. But everyone's so busy going places that I haven't been able to make any friends. We went to a park, but there was a sign. Ugh, buff. No dogs allowed. Are you kidding me? Finally, we found a dog park at the Jardin du Luxembourg. But when I started playing, I couldn't understand them. Oh, great. I thought all the dogs spoke dog. Quoi? Qu'est-ce que vous dites? They only speak French. I'll never make any friends. I hate Perry. I want to go home. I don't think so, honey. I have an idea. You're going to learn French. My teacher is Madame Vera. She is a French poodle. Children, you must understand, this chapter truly reminds me of my time in dog school. Does this look like your school right now today? Is your teacher a French poodle? Oh no, there goes my hat. Hold on. Ah, much better. Let us continue. One day at recess, I met Warren. He's an expat, an American dog who's lived here a long time. He's slow learning French, but he sure knows his way around Paris. He takes me to new places to smell stuff. My favorite is the Sausage Man. One day we walked really far and ended up at the Marché d'Alire, his favorite market. Everyone was speaking French, but now I could actually understand some of what they were saying. Now I really want to learn more words. Écré. Chien. Oiseau. Chat. The next time I saw a dog at the park, I started talking to him, and he understood me. Now Gustav and I are friends. Then I met Leo. He's a Siberian husky. He's very cool. I'm making lots of friends like Marion, Jean-Jacques, Beatrice, and Emile. Bonjour, mon cher. Salut, Hudson. Comment ça va? Viens jouer avec nous. I even have a girlfriend. Her name is Francoise. I asked her to play and she said oui. But in Paris you must say it like this. Away. Paris is a cool place when you have friends. I'm becoming a real Parisian. I mean Paris Chien. Fin. That means the end. Thank you children for listening to my story today. It's reminded me of my own travels to Paris. So before we leave, I want to share some photos I took on my last trip to Paris. These photos come from my own photo book called Lucy. Here I am in front of the Eiffel Tower. And here I have a little whipped cream on my nose. Uh-oh. Thanks again, children, for listening to my story today. I am so tired now, I think I shall take the nap. Au revoir, mes amis.